Yeah, actually, you can see that China has recently implemented a new set of regulations which aims to attract more and more foreign investors to China, which is called the encouraging foreign catalog, foreign investment catalog for foreign investors to make investment here. And for the new catalog, even though it's a draft, you can see that a lot of items which has been removed from um, restricted sector to encouraging sector. Actually, you can see that uh, a lot of uh, foreign investors, when they come to China, if they invest in areas like manufacturing sector or like production related service sector, uh, they, it's, uh, to be honest, that's uh, very welcome in China. And uh, based on our experience with our clients, we find that more and more uh, multinational companies are interested in either set up goofy, uh, wholly, wholly foreign owned enterprise or joint venture with Chinese partners and to expand their footprint in China, uh, provided that uh, there is, there's, uh, they are complying with local laws. So basically, uh, we, we, based on our experience, uh, it's, uh, uh, to be honest, more and more Western uh, in Western investors bring the environment for them. And uh, from a uh, lawyer's structuring perspective, when we structure deal, we find it's e even easier uh, during the recent three years that uh, we, we, we can uh, design a, a more investor-friendly structure for them and we don't need to uh, direct our brain to try to devise some uh, structures to circumvent the laws or regulations. It's, uh, to be honest, very easy for them right mm. now. Yeah. You, you mentioned China's been encouraging foreign capital to invest in uh, manufacturing and service that serve these manufacturing, especially high-end manufacturing. So how interested are foreign investors in these areas? Uh, to be honest, actually, uh, for those high-end uh, manufacturing sectors, actually, uh, as you know, that is almost uh, all of the uh, Space-based sectors of it has been open to foreign investors right now, based on the uh, updated regulations. So basically, we find that a lot of them are very interested. Uh, a lot of foreign investors are very interested uh, in investing in those sectors because number one, uh, China has a very sophisticated uh, infrastructure here. We have a lot of local talent uh, as well as a lot of talent which are Western trained and go back to China to uh, try to make some contribution. Uh, so there's a lot of talent pool, and in addition, because the local governments uh, are very uh, well encouraged to attract uh, uh, foreign invest, sophisticated and uh, uh, IP-focused uh, foreign investments to come to China to make more investments. So basically, there are more those policies, those local policies are very also very investor friendly. So uh, basically, if they want to uh, make some. Uh, production extension in the manufacturing sector. Uh, China actually provides very good environment for those uh, international investors. Uh, and as you may know that, based on the uh, updated uh, laws and regulations, China actually uh, all the foreign investors are treated equal, equally as local Chinese, local Chinese investors. So basically, uh, you can find that the, the sentiment has been pretty high uh, after China has opened up uh, the mm -hmm. manufacturing sector. Uh, uh, last, last but not least, uh, actually, for, for the Chinese capital market, uh, because a lot of foreign PE funds also invest in the China, Asia, uh, in some Chinese local companies and uh, waiting for them to be listed in China, uh, Asia board. And then no obstacle, uh, in most cases, it's all obstacle for foreign PE or VC funds to make investment in those, in those local companies at the gate of profit. Uh, after their shares get listed in good to know that. local yeah. good to know that. market. Mm. But capital yeah. outflow have been increasing since the U.S. Fed started its current tightening circle since the beginning of the year. There's also been a visible um, barrenness in the mainland Hong Kong IPO markets during the first three months of the year. However, the yuan exchange rate we've seen, it's stabilized to around 6.7 to 6.8 against the dollar. So what's the outlook for capital flows for the rest of the year? Uh, yes, actually, uh, the Hong Kong IPO market has substantially slowed compared to the last year. Uh, but uh, uh, well, I think uh, if uh, you are long-term investors, maybe you can play a long game and you can just uh, see whether maybe after the COVID-related uh, issues gets uh, gradually resolved, and we can get back to normal and uh, more and more international liquidity. 
I think uh, they can still get back to the Hong Kong market. I think in the long term. Yeah. Right. On the manufacturing side, China still holds several advantages. Uh, you mentioned your answers. Do we really need to worry about capital outflows from the manufacturing sector? Uh, to be honest, in the short term, there might be some challenges as well. Uh, as we may know that there are some healthy competition from Southeast Asian countries. And, uh, uh, but uh, to be honest, uh, given China's uh, very uh, relatively more uh, robust uh, uh, infrastructure support, as well as China's, you know, uh, not only those real estate related infrastructure, but also those digital infrastructure. China is relatively more sophisticated in, uh, than a lot of than a lot of other uh, Southeast Asian countries. So basically, uh, China still uh, are very attractive for uh, a lot of, for investors to make investment here. Yeah, but uh, we will understand that there are some short-term concern uh, about the current. Uh, uh, situation, uh, but uh, I think for the long term, I think a lot of foreign investors is if they wants to, uh, still wants to uh, make uh, <clears throat> uh, make a, a very robust uh, production line here. Uh, they can feel the benefit of Chinese infrastructure and all the other support, uh, because we know that it's very complex web of support in China, not only in, uh, those logistics and transportation network as well as uh, more skilled and uh, sophisticated workers. I think that's, that's something uh, we, which are very beneficial for their uh, development here. Yeah. Thank you so much for um, your you. insights.